This is my wilderness system tarpon 140, set up as a fishing kayak. The front hatch is where I store my spare gear and where the fish finder battery and transducer is located. In the cockpit I've installed a fish finder, rod holders and camera mounts. On my port side I have the anchor and rope. Behind me on the starboard side I have the main camera pole mount. And behind the seat I have the flush mount rod holders and deck mounts for the cameras and the rod holders. There is plenty of storage space behind the seat for an esky and fishing gear. The tarpon 140 comes with a rudder already installed. Under the rudder I've stuck a couple of velcro strips to protect the hole from the rudder. On the port side I have a Harmony anchor trolley which runs the length of the kayak. I use around 5 to 10 metres of rope depending on where I'm fishing. and I have a float on the rope as a safety measure. Good clip. The anchor is a 1.5 kilo folding anchor. Easily stored away in the pocket there. Just to unclip it, anchors away. Pull it to the stern, which then allows the bow of the kayak to float downstream and you can fish off the front. I have three leashes, one for the paddle and two for the rod holders at the back. Drop a rod over the side and if it's not attached to the leash, you'll never see a rod again. Before you drill a hole for the flush mount rod holders, make sure you have the Harmony and the Scotty side track mounts attached so that the flush rod holder fits snugly alongside. This will allow the side track mount side past the flush mount. In the cockpit I have the Scotty bait casters on Scotty deck mounts and Harmony side track mounting plate. They can be moved anywhere up and down the side track and also pointed virtually in any direction up, down, around, anywhere. Just undo the screws, loosen them off a bit. If you don't loosen them off far enough you'll find that that the plate underneath will hit the screws holding the side track so you just got to lift it up a little bit as you slide it. The Scotty Rodmaster rod holders are mainly used for long butted rods as the gimbal stops the rod poking through into the cockpit. The Garmin 150 dual beam fish finder is mounted on a ram fish finder mount which can be swivelled around in any direction. I have another ram mount in front of the fish finder and a one inch screw ball mount in the side track system. So rods and cameras and fish finders can be moved around the kayak to suit the day's activities. On this side of the kayak you can see the screw ball mounted on the side track. There it is there, comes in handy. Behind the seat the waterproof extreme high definition widescreen video camera is mounted on top of a panfish camera pole which is mounted on a Scotty Harmony side track mount. The cable on this side is to pull the rudder in and out of the water. 
In the front hatch, two clips secure my spare gear and installed in the same hatch is the transducer and battery for the fish finder. The battery holder and the transducer is glued to the hole with a glue called Marine Goop. G -O -O -P, G-O-O-P, The transducer is glued between the kayak scuppers for better protection. An ideal flat location for good echo signals and less problems with bubbles passing under the kayak. Before you glue anything, do some research and get some good advice on this subject. The hatch in the cockpit is where I keep my fishing tackle that I use on the day and of course a very comfortable seat. Well there it is folks, my Tarpon 140 fishing kayak. 